Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Um, today in the chapel we have Proverbs 23, 7. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Just trying to be me. Um, I know I have a good heart, so yeah, I'm going there. <laughs> All right, let me set that away. <coughs> it's been two weeks since I podcast. Through the holidays, I didn't really have time. Um, I had to work a lot, uh, having Krista, doing the holidays, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, but I have been true. Sorry, the dogs are fussing with the thing here. That's why it's jiggling. So, I did start um, my spinning, um, but I do have some totally hooked. So, one of the things that happened in the farmhouse, we're just going to go all out of whack today, um, is that down this hallway, there is my bedroom, and then there's a second bathroom. And until lately, um, I've been using a roommate's bathroom, uh, simply because we had worked on it and got it ready to use. Um, this other bathroom we had storage in some old heaters uh boxes of stuff the christmas stuff was in there for a while um yeah the fall stuff was in there for a while but i have actually been in there and cleaned it out and i started working on it to make it my bathroom um i had scrubbed the tub and stuff earlier just we had closed it off not really done anything with it I'd worked on the living room, um, the kitchen, the dining room just needs trim, the kitchen just needs the ceiling painted, but here's the thing is that things take money, so um, they're kind of on hold for right now. Uh, then the uh, um, bathroom, it has some issues with the walls. Uh, being a bathroom, I think the tub has leaked. But I don't have the money to do the construction right now. And neither does roommate. And not only that, it's cold. <laughs> Christmas, it was like 80 degrees, almost 80 degrees. Um, and then within a 24-hour period, we had it go from 72 in the daytime to 20 at night. So it is super cold. The cold front has come in. If you live in Oklahoma, you know that January and February are the worst um, months for winter. It's just always been that way, so we're not going to start construction. But I got it cleaned out. Um, it looks really cute. I did some things like found some old curtains that I washed up and some of the other stuff from the other parts of the house. Um, and they're off the back door that got fixed because that we needed so that air wouldn't be coming in. Uh, so the old back door had a window, had curtains. I stole those curtains. So in Totally Hooked, coming around, I have started making it, and I've decided I want it to be, um, I want it to remind me of my grandma's bathroom. It's set up pretty much just like my grandma's bathroom uh, in New York. The tub with those sliding doors, then the stool, then the sink, and there's just enough room to walk in there. Um, the only difference is, is that it's flipped the walls and then this bathroom isn't as long. So the storage cabinet that my grandmother had in hers was on the same side as the sink in that. This one, it's on the other side. Big difference. Yeah, right. So anyway, she crocheted and knitted and, and made um, and hers didn't have a window. So she didn't have to deal with the window. So I was like, hmm, what would grandma do? Grandma had this old crochet thing. It, it was like a hat that went over the, the toilet paper because there's no storage in that bathroom. Um, the one cabinet's in there, it's got towels in it and the bedding. So that's all there's room for is two sets of sheets, probably six towels, that's it. Oh, and there's one blanket, it's three shelves. So it's full. But she had that round thing that was like a hat or whatever, and it's toilet paper cover. 
and it would cover the spare roll of toilet paper. Well, I started looking into those and I didn't want those. So, um, I made this one and it's going to be uh, white and cream and I want it to have flowers like roses. So I made this one and it's simply just a rounded bottom with, and it holds three toilet papers and I put three flowers on the top. So it's that pink and cream and then I made um, for the curtains, I didn't just want them hanging there. So I put them in the traditional, in the center tie backs and I made these and there's two of them. And again, it's the pink with the white. So it looks really cute in there. Um, I've got to move the towel holder. I actually got dressed in there. My bedroom has a cracked window. So I, it, it's just too cold in there right now. And so um, I got dressed in the bathroom because it's all cleaned up. It does have this blue rug that it's a round rug and somebody has cotton crocheted a trim on it. I really like it. I may try to dye it because it's a really, really old faded blue. But I'm thinking it, it goes okay with the white and the pink if I don't get it dyed. But I'm scared the pink will come out too dark. And I don't want dark pink in there. Just a pale pink. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Okay, so those are my two totally hooked. Um, the all, I'm going to show you all the projects I have because this is the first of the year. You've seen them before. The Geo. And it is going to go in timeout. And then, of course, this blue one. And I've come to the conclusion that since it's after the first and this isn't done, it's going to go in timeout. Then I have my one bag that has the pink and the white in it. Um, I did also Tunisian crochet um, a thing to go across the window because the window seemed to be kind of leaking in there. Uh, but it's just solid pink Tunisian crochet, 29 inches long, goes right underneath the, goes right at the windowsill. Um, then I've been working on this one, and it's almost done. Um, I probably will finish it up today uh, and get it off the hooks. But this is the one cake that I was doing, and again, I just did it in a virus shawl because I really like that pattern. And I think this one's going to be for me. Um, I always say that and then I end up giving them away. I think this one's really going to be for me. <laughs> Would you believe I don't have not one virus shawl for myself? Never made myself one. So I'm really thinking this one right here should be it. I just have this much. It'll probably do one section across the bottom here that I just started. So I'll have another um of this section right here that's lighter so i think that's probably all that it'll do we'll see how far it gets and then once you know i just end them wherever they end so um i have that then uh hold on i gotta go get one thing i forgot okay so um those are the things i've been working on I don't know because it's been two weeks since I did and I normally keep a list of um, things that I've finished like a progression list and I've been trying to just finish everything up so I haven't started anything new so I haven't started my list so I can't remember if I showed you um, my December club came and it is it almost made me not want to to cancel it because it is this okay it's a beautiful shawl it comes or wrap I guess it comes with a chart and the yarn is right up my alley it is this Lincoln fog um, it came with four balls that are third 3.5 ounces but it is 25% wool 
and 75% acrylic and it is super soft. I love this. It's it, it reminds me of hand done, hand, you know, just the color and stuff. So I haven't started this. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I did cancel my subscription to the kit. And this will be the last one. So my goal for this year is to get everything done that I just showed you. And this one. And that's a crocheting that I hope to be sticking to. But... <laughs> You know, there's always a kink with me. It can't ever be that easy to finish them up and just be done and not have anything on the hook um, and then decide, which was my goal, was to have just a geo, everything finished, and then work this one when I'm not spinning. Uh, the first of the year came, and I was kind of taking it easy. I was working on that virus shawl and, and the bathroom stuff, and I got a private message with an order for some headbands okay that's what God wants me to do that's how I'm going to start my new year um, so I do have to get those um, that personal order done so yeah it is what it is but I have stuck to spinning some more now the goal I always have a goal and then life happens the goal and I'm gonna move this one over here was I had started one bobbin now I'm going to talk a little bit about my wheels if you have followed us very long you probably already know this don't know if um, you remember it or not so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you so my Kiwi is named the little Wrangler my traditional is Miss Kitty, and my walking wheel is Big Bertha. Big Bertha won't probably be used right now because I don't have a place to set her up. I have her stored. She is in my room, but she's in pieces. Um, she's still totally functioning, uh, but I just don't have the space to set her up in my room, so I can't really spin um, I'm going to turn this, which I hate doing during podcasting. I'm going to tilt it down. So, this is the little Wrangler. It's my little Kiwi. Okay. Each one of these guys has their own bags that I've made. I literally have this much left to put on that bobbin, and it will look like this. Okay. Now, it gets a little cattywampus because I overload them. But then I'm going to double ply it. This is the same wool that I use for roommate's um, sweater vest, which fit, by the way. <laughs> um, I uh, hope to have this done today. And then I've got another pound, I believe, of this to spin. My goal is to have two skeins of at least... 250 yards that match so that'll be 500 yards that match before I die um, that's my goal I'm gonna try and do it all 8 ounce 8 ounce ply 8 ounce 8 ounce ply I don't know um, last time I did it that way I ended up with like a thousand yards so I know I can hit that goal I just don't want to do anything less than a 250 yard skein before I dye anything. And then I'm going to dye so that it has a reasonable amount of yarn so that if I do sell it, I can do something. They have enough to do a project. If I don't sell it, then I have enough to do a project. So the little Wrangler, you can see that the bobbin's quite full. Um, I just have that little bit left to do and I have one other bobbin. Then I will ply those um, on my jumbo flyer, and once I get that done, then I'll start spinning again. So I'm not going to be able to die right off, but I will get it spun. So I've worked on this one, and of course this is a little Wrangler, and he's uh, he's my travel wheel. <laughs> Then I have my traditional. Now I didn't plan on having anything on the traditional for this podcast 
Unfortunately, worm struck again. If you guys know and followed the Christmas gifts, I wove on a peg loom a beautiful rug for someone with diabetes. Well, I didn't get those delivered. They're still in on the kitchen table. Um, I didn't get those delivered and worm got into one. So now it's about half the size. And what I salvaged from what he tore up is in this bag. And it's this beautiful white and it's not gonna look pretty, you know, but it's white with gray pops in it. And it's that, it's just something I bought at Hobby Lobby, uh, humming bee or bumblebee or something. And it comes in that cord and it's for, I think they marketed it for like the infinity uh, scarves, but I wove with it and I have spun it before. So I took the parts that he ruined as a rug, pulled them all out, salvaged what I could, and I now have that on the bobbin here and I'm spinning it. So it's not a total loss, um, but Miss Kitty, of course, is doing it. It's super fine, takes a lot of twist. Um, not my favorite thing to spin. Remember I said I probably wouldn't be spinning it again. <laughs> yeah, not going to happen. So I'm going to finish this and then my goal is to get the other wool. I've got two two pound bags of wool to spin that are that's already in roving. Then I've got two fleeces that I need to spin in the grease and get those on here and then I've got a pet project this year that um, is for my boss. She has two sheep. She's always just sheared them, nothing. So she's saving the wool. She got last year's clip and then she'll have this year's clip and I am going to make her a blanket. Now, for those of you who crochet, um, yes, I'm gonna wash it, I'm gonna card it, I'm gonna spin it. Just moving this back, sorry. Um, I'm going to do all of that, but no dyeing. She wants it natural. She's got a black sheep and she's got a white sheep and the log cabin pattern is what I'm gonna go for. Um, and it starts out with like two squares and then you do a section here and you go around and each section gets longer. So <coughs> I'm going to do that and hopefully it will turn out good. I'm going to barber pole some and I'm going to uh, do some that's white, some that's black, some that's barber pole. I'm going to blend some so that they look brownish have them speckledy looking, um, and I'm going to do that log cabin thing. When I run out of wool is when it's done. So if it's a baby blanket, if it's a wall hanger size, if it gets huge, it is what it is because some of the wool isn't salvageable. Um, they're rescues, and everybody knows their first clip isn't exactly great. Um, so we'll see what this spring brings with their fleece and we'll go from there. She's also given me some of her bunny stuff that I'm going to blend into certain sections. Um, yeah, just a lot of fun. It's going to be fun and hopefully she'll be pleased with it. So I started out the year with two, um, consignment or commissioned, uh, projects to do. So, um, one is simple, one not so simple, but you'll get to follow along as I do the second, the blanket, because it's going to take me a while, and she knows it. So, anyway, but that's what I've got going on. I have stayed true to the first of the year. I started spinning more. Um, I had part of the first bobbin of that one done, and then, of course, I did, oh, excuse me. I made these wonderful bags to hook on <clears throat> each one because Worm loves wool and I'm hiding the wool from him. Um, he has knocked over Miss Kitty once trying to take the bag off of there. Um, he got in trouble and he hasn't messed with it since. So I'm hoping that that's that, that he's done with that. But I don't know. I really don't know. 
All right, I think that's really all I've got. Um, RJ's been going through a couple of rope ends, doing his thing, just trying to stay busy, um, make some money, get through Christmas, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. But other than that, I've covered what I did in the house, what I've done here, and honestly, I know this is probably short, but that's okay. Oh, I plan on finishing this one, which is that uh, shawl. I'm going to finish that one. The pink and the white, I'm going to hang on to because I think that's all I'm going to do for the bathroom is those two things. Uh, I'm going to buy cream towel and pink towel when I get the money. And... I think I just want it to be a pink towel with a cream towel over it and a pink washcloth. Let that be the set. I'm not going to go like big money and get a big set. Um, and then really it's just a matter of cleaning up and the walls is a big thing and that is going to take a little bit. I did move the hand um, towel. They had the hand towel right over the little holder right over the sink well you can't use that so um, I'm cleaning out the medicine cabinet gonna do it I don't know if I'm gonna repaint it or not the cabinet that's in there the wooden one that's for storage I'm just gonna paint that um, again it's just gonna take a little bit of money and I'm gonna do it a little at a time and make it mine <laughs> and the one thing that is different about that bathroom it has a bathtub so I could actually soak and relax. Yay. <laughs> so up until this point, we have a shower stall, but we'll get that. And I'm not saying that roommate won't use that bathroom. I'm just saying that, you know, I'm doing it the way I want. So yeah. And I do get dressed in there every morning. I have my blow dryer like plugged in there so I can blow dry. When you're trying to get ready for bed or ready for work in the mornings and we both have to get ready it helps to have two bathrooms so yeah it's just my place to get dressed and all that stuff and yeah because my room is too cold to get dressed in it is super cold <laughs> so anyway it has heat in there it just one of the double panes is broke and you can feel everything and we've tried to fix it but it's just going to take a new piece of glass which I've got to go and see what plexiglass is going to cost because it's going to cost a little bit to get that fixed. Um, not that it's not livable. You can live in there. It just gets colder than the rest of the house because it's got that cracked window. So, and, and I say cracked, it's got a little round spot out of it that, you know, and then there's a double window. It just does not seal in the heat. So, and there is heat ducked in there, but it's just, I get into my covers and I'm all warm. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so it's sleepable just not really livable and the bathroom makes it a nice warmer place to get um, dressed in the morning definitely so all right uh, I think that is about it um, I hope you guys had an amazing Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and all that good stuff so I know that uh, for those of you who celebrate winter solstice, there's two, still two more days. I'm doing this on the 4th, and there's, what, six, December, uh, January 6th is the 12th day of Christmas or whatever. So, yeah, I know that that's going on. I hope you guys are having a great celebration. So, all right, I'm off of here, and I will see you next week, I hope. And hopefully I'll have more progress in the spinning department to show you. Maybe even some completed yarn getting ready for dye pots, which it, I'm actually excited to do that um, here. I, But I want to have enough that it makes a lot. Um, and I'm not saying a lot. I'm saying a lot of yarn. Oh, boy, this is going to be hard to. So lot numbers are used for each batch of yarn that you dye. So I want to have enough that makes the same lot number so that it all matches. Even when you dye the same yarn, 
the same exact way in hand dyeing. It never comes out the same. So you want to have two or three skeins or at least enough yarn when you dye it for one project. So I want to have a lot meaning massive quantities, but I want to have a massive quantity enough to do a lot of yarn so that a complete project can be done of it. So, yeah. So that I have one lot number for a couple of skeins. I know it sounds a little confusing, and I probably didn't help clear it up, but just go to any yarn. I wonder if this one has it. If you look at any yarn, you'll understand what I'm talking about because it'll say the colorway and then it'll have a lot number and let me see and of course this one does not oh yes it does okay so um let me see up here see where it says right up here i don't know that that's focusing come on it's shiny so it's not really wanting to focus but if you look right here, it says lot, and then it has a number. And then down here is the colorway and all of that. If you want to make a project and you're buying four or five skeins, you want those lot numbers to match as well as the yarn colorway so that your project will look cohesive. Um, just because even in commercial dyeing, they can't get it exact. It's, it's not an exact science. So, um, yeah. And every yarn will have a lot number. Unless it's natural, and then it won't. Um, so, anyway. A lot. Dying a lot. Same thing, I guess. Kind of. Sort of. <laughs> Alright, if I haven't totally confused you, I will talk to y'all later. See you in about a week. And have a great holiday season, you guys, whatever it is that you celebrate, okay?